ABC 36 on your side. Well, we're back with our ABC 36 political analyst Trey Watson and Dr. Stephen Voss to break down those primary election results. Thank you for staying with us tonight. All right, let's start with the gubernatorial race. I don't think we saw any real big surprises with the nominees there, but anything of interest in that race? Uh, I think, you know, when you look at some of the money that was spent, uh, we ran some numbers. Uh, it, Kelly Kraft looks like she's going to end up at around $230 per vote. Wow. Um, Daniel Cameron about $25 per vote, and Ryan Corals about a little bit uh, over $19 per vote. So you know, I think a lot of people thought the money would would play a lot more into it. Sure. But at the end of the day, I think having that pre-established relationship with the voters that you saw Cameron and uh, and Corals have, having run statewide before, that. That matters a lot. Absolutely, Dr. Voss? That's right. Uh, Kraft had to both build name recognition and then get people to want to vote. And that's two expenditures rather than one. But also, the political science evidence is clear. Money does not matter as much as we think. You know, we see the winners. They usually have a lot more money. But that's partly the same reason why the horse that wins the race often had higher bets. The people giving that money want to back a winner. When it's your own money, it, you may not be a winner. All right, voter turnout. Uh, we are getting an updated look at some of those numbers, Dr. Voss, tonight, right? That's right. And it's uh, the last time we had a, a Republican primary like this was 2015. It was a while ago. Turnout was a couple of uh, percentage points less this time. So we did have a, a weak turnout, but it was also high compared to what Secretary of State Adams anticipated. Now, here's maybe something that will interest uh, your listeners, which is if you look at the places where turnout was pretty good this time, mm -hmm. You know, we always talk about the top of the ticket. It was places that had local races that mattered. They either had a vote on, on liquor sales or they had a special election for a Senate district. That close contact in local elections where people are reaching out to you about local affairs gets people to the polls at higher numbers than TV ads in your living room generally will. Well, speaking of voter turnout, obviously we're hoping for much bigger numbers this November, and I think that will be the case. Looking ahead with Daniel Cameron and Andy Bashir, you know, what are they going to have to work on? I think Daniel Cameron's first uh, job is to raise money. The second job is to begin to define Andy Bashir. Andy Bashir is uh, very well liked according to the polls, and he's going to have to start to make the case as to why we need to change a governor, and it's, that's going to be a, a long and expensive process. That's right. Voters uh, often engage in two stages. The first stage is, am I happy with the way things are? And if they're happy, they may just not consider the alternative. Now, just because you convince them to shop around doesn't mean they buy you. They may go ahead and buy the product they've been buying before. But it's a t kind of a two-stage process. 30 seconds left. Final thoughts? Uh, I think it, it turned out for all, all the, uh, the bluster and the, and the gnashing of teeth, it turned out kind of what we thought it was going to be uh, launching the process here. Wrap it up. Dr. Voss? Yeah, the polls usually get it right, although we remember the times they don't. <laughs> That's very <laughs> true. I want to thank you both for your insight tonight. It's been very helpful. Thanks, Thanks really. Appreciate it. We'll still have details on a celebration of life for the late state representative, Lamine Swan.